Welcome to Fort William, the Nevis range. So I've just got the chairlift up to the top, just pushed my bike out and up a little hill, that's why I'm out of breath. Uh, so I'm just heading off to ride Blue Dune. So wish me luck and hopefully I'll see you at the bottom in one piece. So there is the top of the gondola. There's the World Cup hut. So there's the start there. Blue Dune, you just go down here towards the chairlift over here with an amazing view of Fort William there. And then it's not really signposted. You can see the start of the trail it's the other side of the chairlift there, but to access it, you go just down this little trail here, and then that takes you in. So you head round here. And then there is Blue Dune. So there's the entrance to the trail. So let's give it a go. Woohoo! Come on. Now I've been down, this is my uh, third time. So I wouldn't say I'm overconfident, but I sort of know what to expect. It is a nice flowy trail, not too steep, so you can really work on your progression, try and keep as much speed going around these berms, maybe even do a little pump just to keep your speed and keep your flow. <coughs> now, it is a little bit loose at the moment, so you need to really just watch the trail ahead and if there's any sort of loose rocks just be careful when you go through those. But these berms here, they're nice and big, lean the bike over, get plenty of grip. They're nice because you go round the berm and then you get a little bit of acceleration and then it goes uphill a little bit just to slow you down so then you go round the berm again. So it is really well paced. And I mean for an uplift, you know, it's a gondola, it's a proper full-on bike park but this is an amazing introduction and, you know, confidence builder. I mean, I wouldn't really have a go at Top Chief or the downhill. I'm not anywhere near that level, but this is really good. I mean, I'm hoping that they build a, a red here as well, sort of in between this one and the Top Chief, which would be nice. Now it's a very long trail. There's even picnic benches two stops with picnic benches down so if you are getting a little bit fatigued I would use them because I don't know where you live but where I live we don't tend to have these massive long descents you sort of have two or three minute descents and then you pedal back up so you never really get the arm pump you get on these long bike park descents these are the sections here there was um people digging this morning maintaining oh there we go there's one of them there maintaining it and keeping it good yeah. you all right oh yeah so they are uh, 
keep it on top of it keep it on top of the maintenance which is good I mean there's no braking bumps that I've seen now these bits here where you've got the loose shingle on the sides these are the very sketchy bits because it's not quite worn in yet you can see in the middle here it's nicely worn in but if you go off that you will start sliding around so just be aware of that there's also some sections like this that you can actually have a little sit down because they are a little bit peddly but to be honest I don't mind that I prefer that than being on the brakes all the time and not real not really progressing so I think this is top chief where they cross over here uh, oh no maybe not oh yes I think they do because then when you go around this corner top chief goes off to the right and blue dune goes off to the left so just be a little bit careful when you go around here make sure you uh, follow the trail that you uh, want to carry on on I mean look at that view you don't get a lot of time to take the view in and also yeah so there's top chief there so I'm going left carrying on blue dune So there's the picnic bench there and as you can see it's got an amazing view so I'm going to have a little stop there just let my uh, wrists <laughs> let the pump out of my wrists and uh, and I'll carry on in a minute oh, look at that view nice Nevis Range is a mountain range in the Scottish Highlands, located about seven miles north of Fort William. It's home to the UK's only mountain gondola, which in the spring, summer and autumn months doubles up as a bike uplift and it takes about 15 minutes to get to the top. Uplift prices in 2023 were £46 for a full day and there are parking charges on top. From the top you have access to three mountain bike trails including Blue Dune, Top Chief and the famous World Cup downhill track. The Blue Dune Trail is the longest blue graded uplift trail in the UK at around 8 kilometres long.
The intermediate flow trail opened two years ago and snakes down the mountainside with views over the Lacaba countryside. several picnic benches along the trail you can't help stopping, taking a breather and checking out the incredible view. Right, so I've had a bit of a breather. Let's get back on the trail. Now this last third is the bit where we sort of dip into the forest. It gets a little bit steeper. Um, and then you join into the other trails that are accessible um, accessible from the car park without an uplift. That's called Blue Steel. And to be honest, if you're not sure whether you're ready to have a go on this Blue Dune, then I would have a little ride round, have a ride up to Blue Steel give that a go because if you can ride blue steel to be honest there's nothing on blue dune that will uh, surprise you it's it's no harder than blue steel so that's a good little pre-qualifier and also a little confidence builder as well so maybe come for the day have a ride ride around the the trails around the center and then the following day, if you're feeling comfortable and up for it, grab yourself an uplift and uh, have a go on this because, I mean, it's the longest blue in the UK. So that's one to tick off the list anyway. And to be honest, it's an experience, especially if you're uh, from places where you don't get this type of terrain I mean it's uh, it really is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be honest and people come in from all over the world to uh, ride here at Fort William and we're lucky enough well it's nine hours for me to drive up here but most people they can get up here in uh, a lot less time then yeah, go for it. There we go, so you start to see the barriers, so you know it's gonna get a little bit steeper. So I haven't been on the brakes that much, but I know I'm gonna to need to watch my uh, speed and just maintain it a little bit going down here. I mean, these berms are great. You can just, they're pretty much catch berms. You can hit them quite hard, but just be, just be aware of your speed when you're coming down. Oh, see there, the front end just went out a little bit, just stepped out. So you still gotta be on your toes. Lean the bike over, make sure you get as much grip as you can. And also, by the time you get down here, you've been riding for quite a long time, so I would make use of the picnic benches and just uh, keep yourself fresh for this part because this part is not easy at all.
Oh, <laughs> it's just getting looser. It's drying out throughout the day. This was really quite damp this morning, but now it's uh, definitely getting a little bit looser. This is the roller coaster. Nice little gap jump there. Trying not to pedal, so just pumping over those sections there. This part reminds me of Bike Park Wales. It's all very natural up top, but this is... This is well, uh, well thought out flow trail, this. And that is the end of Blue Dune. And that is where it turns into blue steel. So this section here, like I say, is a good little introduction to how steep and uh, technical Blue Dune is. So let's do it. And then this will kick me out into the car park. So as you can see down here, it's very similar and a good pre-qualifier, like I said. So if you can ride this comfortably, you can certainly ride Blue Dune. The trail also gets slightly wider and wider as you're going down as it gets less and less technical and turns into really a forest path and then when that does happen just be aware of uh, people walking so you get quite a lot of hikers here and they are sort of shared hiking trails these are obviously the uh, bike trail so you shouldn't uh, walk on these but as you get closer to the car park it does really turn into a more mixed trail here you can see it's getting wider and less technical so just be ready to maybe see the odd dog and hiker knocking about so that is Blue Dune. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And please give me a like. Really helps the channel and helps the videos grow. And for more mountain bike videos, hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And I will catch you on the next one.